The Problem with Arguing. Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 39. Yahusha said unto him, You shall love the Yahweh Elohim with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, You shall love your neighbor as yourself. These two commandments are all of the commandments that we need to obey. First, above all else, we are to love Yahweh, Yahusha, with all our hearts, meaning that we are to have no other El that we worship, not money, titles, possessions, social standing like fame, likes, friends on social media, medical science or science in general, or the educational institutions of mankind. None of these are we to value or respect or believe in over the Yahweh. If there becomes a conflict between what medical science is telling us or what science says or what our university education tells us and what scripture tells us, who are you going to believe? The very first commandment is that we believe in Yahweh, not man. The second commandment is to love thy neighbor as thyself, meaning that we are to treat others as we want to be treated. Why? Because we judge ourselves when we judge others. We declare someone to be undeserving of forgiveness then we have declared ourselves to be undeserving of forgiveness. If we declare someone to be foolish because they do not believe in Yahweh, we shall be shown to be foolish because we did not believe in Yahweh. We did not understand that we would be judged by the standard with which we judge others. Therefore, we did not know Yahweh. Because if we knew him, we would have known that we would be judged according to the standard with which we judge others, and we shall be ashamed of our foolishness. Matthew chapter 7. Judge not that ye be not judged. For what with judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure ye meet, it shall be measured to you again. My mother told me that when I point a finger at someone, there's one finger pointing at them, but there's three fingers pointing back at me. Any blessing we send to someone, we are sending those same blessings back at ourselves. And any curses we send after someone, we are sending those same curses on ourselves. Let's continue with Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7. Verse 3. And why beholdest thou the mote that is in thy brother's eye, but considerest not the beam that is in thine own eye? Or how wilt thou say to thy brother, let me pull out the moat out of thine eye, and behold, the beam is in thine own eye. Thou hypocrite, first cast out the beam out of thine own eye, and then shalt thou see clearly to cast out the moat out of thy brother's eye. Still keeping in mind that any blessings or curses that we give, they come right back to us. Remember that. Three fingers pointing back. And I'm not pointing at anyone in particular or saying, you do this. The number one person who needs to hear this message is me. I argue about everything. I am such an arguer. Now we're at Matthew chapter 7, 
verse 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs, neither cast ye your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again and rend you. Ooh. This right here is why you not to argue with other people. Do not argue. Share the wisdom from the Holy Spirit. It shall be received or not received. Arguing with someone or telling them that they are in a cult or are brainwashed will open no one's eyes to the truth. Pray for Yahweh to open their eyes and ears. Only Yahweh knows the heart and he chooses only his children to understand his holy word. Those who are of the devil will never understand. John chapter 8, verses 42 through 44. Yahusha said unto them, If Yah were your father, ye would love me, for I proceedeth forth and came forth and came from Yahweh. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Why do ye not understand my speech, even because ye cannot hear my word? Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Do you see why it's pointless to argue with anyone about the truth? Only those who seek the truth will hear and understand the word of the Yahweh. Back to Matthew chapter 7. We're now at verse 7. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Or what man is there of you whom, if his son ask bread, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Are you seeing how that works? Give blessings freely and you shall receive blessings freely. Give curses freely and you shall be cursed. Just remember, one finger pointing at someone else and three fingers pointing back at you. Whatever you wish upon another shall be done to you. Remember that every time you have a conversation with anyone. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, 
but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Commandment number one and number two. Worship Yahweh above all else. Love Yah above all else. Love your neighbor as yourself. Verse 22, we'll go back to that. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. And then I pro profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whoever so, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house. And it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock. And every one that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Yahusha had ended these sayings, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. The same applies to arguing over how to pronounce the name of Yah. The truth is that none of us know the correct pronunciation of the name of the Father of all creation. We have messed up our lives here on earth so badly that Yah has taken his name from this place. We are living in the last days before the judgment day of Yahweh. We must repent of our disobedience. Stop arguing over everything, including how to pronounce the sacred name. If someone asks you what Yah has shared with you, graciously and humbly share all that Yah has told you. If they don't agree, listen to their response. And if their response was not argumentative, but inquisitive, continue the conversation. As soon as it turns into an argument, drop it and go on your way. Romans 12, 19. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith Yahweh, Yahusha. Shalom.